Welcome back everyone. Let's go ahead and do a speed comparison between iOS 15 and iOS 14 on the iPhone 7 Plus. Now iOS 15 is on the right, iOS 13 is iOS 14 is on the left. A great way to tell is if you have focus mode on your device, you are essentially, you know, on iOS 15. Let me go and increase the brightness on this specific device. Okay, so now let's get started. Let's do phone calls, three, two, one, and 14 looks a little bit faster. Let's go ahead and get into settings. Let's get into clock, three, two, one. 14, I think, looked a little bit faster there. Let's go ahead and get into app stores, three, two, one. And I do get a pop-up here that's very annoying. And I, I think it would have been faster on iOS 14. That's kind of what I've been seeing over and over again. Loading speeds, again, seem to be faster on iOS 14. As you can see, taking a little bit of time to get through. I'm scrolling on both at the same time. And you can see, finally, we get into it on the bottom of iOS 15. I do think I have a... So I do have a bunch of these third-party apps we'll get into as well. Let's do Facebook, 3, 2, 1. Again, 14 is the faster one there. Hopping out of this one. Let's get into Twitter, 3, 2, 1. And I did mess that one up, so we'll just load that one in the background. Let's get into real, let's get into Netflix. Three, two, one. And it does look like iOS 14 is a faster one. Hopping out of this one, let's do Quizlet. Three, two, one. 14 is faster. 15 a little bit behind. Dropbox, three, two, one. 14 again is a faster one. 15 a little bit behind. Let's get into Quizlet. Three, two, one. I think I just did this one. Okay, I did. Hopping out of this one, Snake versus Blocks, three, two, one. And it does look like iOS 14 is the faster one. We do get this pop up here. So let me get into some gameplay. And I'm unsure, as you can see, I mean, this is definitely a far faster machine, I feel like, on 14 than on 15. I mean, this one is just glitching up all over the place on this specific device. Let's go and hop out of this one. Let's get into Stack, which I, oh, I do have three, two, one. And I guess there was a little bit of a difference, really not that big of a deal. But let's just get into some gameplay. And I realized there's a little bit of a bigger difference here in terms of the actual app. Seems like there's a lot of glitching going on, which again is not a big deal, but kind of interesting in my opinion. You can see gameplay-wise, they're roughly around the same. So hopping out of this one, let's get into Fruit Ninja. Three, two, one. And it does look like, again, 14 may be the faster one here. We do get into that pop-up on 14, 15 loading up, and we do eventually get into it on iOS 15. So, I don't know why this one lives up like this. And let's do Temple Run 2, 3, 2, 1. And I think as a whole, I've kind of, I've kind of already made up my opinion. I do think iOS 15, and of course we get this pop-up, but I am curious to see how much of a difference. So let's just give this one like a two second delay. And even then, had that pop-up not happened on iOS 15, it would there's just no competition i mean this one is just so much faster and that's kind of one thing i've been seeing it does seem to me that ios 15 as a whole on pretty much all my devices is slower than ios 14 on all my devices now there are some caveats sometimes there may be a little bit of a switch but i think on average ios 14 is still faster than on ios 15 and I think that's totally okay. You know, we're in a beta. It's the first beta at that. So it's going to take some time for it to catch up. But I am more focused on stability. I've said this for years now. I want a device that's more stable than more, you know, like faster performance or whatever the case is. So I will get into some RAM management. But as I mentioned, I think the deed has been done. I think 14 is uh, roughly around the same, if not a little bit faster than I, as I was 15. But I think over time, there may be a little bit of a difference. You know, I think I was 15 has time to catch up. And I think that's totally fine. So take it as you will. But that's essentially how I kind of see it. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would mean so much. But definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys get hit that. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.